the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's King's Legacy video, I am going to help this noob reach second C with Spirit Fruit. But before that, guys, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when buying your Robux. So for this legendary fruit guys, we are going to take a different approach from the usual way that we grind or level up a fruit. Why? You're gonna know why. But first, let's eat this. As usual, it tastes terrible. Here's the reason guys. Check this out. The minimum stat point required to use a skill is 500. And that skill is just pet summon, no damage. Next, 1000. The third one, 1500. The fourth skill, 2000. And we have a total of 6 skills to unlock. But don't worry guys, I got you. So guys, are you ready to start? Okay, let's go. So first, we're gonna use two codes. And these codes are still working. So listen carefully guys. Okay. So for the code, we are going to use two codes again. First up is the Dino X Live. Dino X Live for 100,000 belly. Okay, 100,000. And next up is this one. P-E-O Dice. P-E-O-D-I-Z. Don't worry guys, I will put all those codes in the description. Okay, so for 200,000 belly. So next up, go to the Soldier Island and buy the Soru. You're gonna buy the Soru. And after this, you need to grind some bellies. And the best way to do that is to do the chicken quest. Level up fast and grind more belly. Chicken quest is the answer. So all the locations, first up is here. In the terrace, next up is the spawn point. There you go. And next up is the black market. So you're gonna do this until you level up. Maybe level 10. Yes, level 10, 12, etc. But the main goal here is to get your money to 150,000 or more. Okay, 150,000 or more. So now again, if you have 150,000, go to rocks. Use your Soru to go up the rocks and buy the block leg. But Gamer Nom, this is a spirit fruit video, not a dark leg or fight style video. Guys, the lowest level that you can use a skill that can damage with spirit fruit is level 375. So we need something that will make us level up faster, okay? So to level up faster, we're gonna start with the clown parrots at level 10. You're gonna do this until you reach level 20. It's very easy guys. First skill, second skill, or you can lure them and use your X skill or the shot. There you go. Goal is to reach level 20. When you reach level 20, you can start defeating Smokey. Smokey, easy, Z, X skill, dodge, dodge, use your Z or your X skill. That's one Smokey, one level up, okay? So at level 30, you can start defeating Tashi. Same guys, you can use your combo, Z, X. Now you can use your C skill, the anti mana kick. But when you reach level 50, you can now proceed to the next island. And that island is the Pirate Island. First, you're gonna defeat Clown Pirates again, but only 5. There you go. Actually, it's kinda easy. Lure, X-Shot, or use your skills. There you go. Goal is to reach level 75. You're gonna defeat the Clown. Gamer Nom, it's kinda fast. Yes, guys, because this is not our main topic. I'm just speeding it up, okay? Okay, so at the Clown, use your Flame, your E-Skill. Use your combo. It's very easy. You're gonna defeat it without even having problems. So when you reach level 100, again, that's our goal, level 100, you're gonna go to the next island, which is the Soldier Island. You're gonna start here with the Commander. This is the best way to defeat them. First, use your party table. There you go. After that, use your flame. If you don't use your flame, see that? Not one hit. So use your flame. There you go. Go to the next set, Z skill. C skill. Boom. Okay, dash, dash, dash. Z skill or X skill. And that's it, guys. Okay? Goal is to reach level 120. And next up, you're gonna fight the captain. For the captain, don't forget to use your flame, use your combos, and that's it. Our goal here is to reach level 145. And after that, you can start defeating the axe hand. Okay, axe hand. So here, guys, we're gonna level up until you reach level 200. Tips Gamer Nom, focus. Just focus in patience. So at level 200, you can now proceed to Shark Island. We're gonna start here with the Karate Fishman. Guys, as you can see, we're focusing on single target enemies. Okay, there you go. Goal here is to reach level 230. And after that, we can now defeat the Sharkman. Leveling up here is really easy and really, really fast because of the fastest spawn point of the Sharkman. Our goal here is to reach level 350. And after that, we are going to our next island, which is the Chef Ship. 20 more levels, guys, and we're gonna use our Spirit Fruit, okay? So we're gonna start here with the Weapon Man. And yes, we skip the Black Leg. 
Guys, trust me with this, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna level up here until we reach level 375. And after that, there you go. We're gonna use another code again. So this is the third code, the third and the last code. 300k likes. And the use of this is to reset your stats. Now, all our stats, we're gonna put it in the power fruit so that we can use three skills. Yes, three skills. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. And those three skills are the pet summon, the thunder, and the flame thrower. Again, you cannot use your skills if you haven't summoned your pet. So make sure to summon it first. I'm gonna show it to you. So for the first skill, we have the pet summon. Z skill. Okay, it looks great. Check the emotions. So for the X skill, the thunder, did you see that? It's kind of short to mid range. And the flamethrower, there you go. There's a burn if ever you hit your enemy using your flamethrower. Here it is. There you go. Just one combo is enough. Our goal here is to reach 450. After that, you can now go to Snow Island. Just like Blackleg, we also skip a quest here. We're gonna go straight to the King of Snow. So at first, you cannot defeat this enemy with one combo. You need to use your Thunder twice or your Flame Thrower twice, okay? So the goal here is to reach level 450. And after that, you can now head to the Heavy Man. So for the Heavy Man, guys, it's kind of big. So you can one hit this with your Thunder. And the goal here is to reach level 625. And by that time, you've already unlocked your fourth skill, the Thunderbolt. So let's try it. Comparing it to Thunder, the range is longer, but the damage is lower. Okay? So before we proceed to our next island, stat check, 100 defense, all in the power fruit. So first, Sky Island. Guys, we don't have lots of melee, so you need to use your Soru. By this time, we haven't unlocked our Cloud Fly yet. So here, we're gonna buy Observation Hockey. This is very useful, guys. You need to buy it in order to level up faster. So now, our next goal is to go to the Desert Island and start defeating the Bomb Man. Yes, we skip the Candleman quest. There you go. So I'm gonna show you how to defeat the Bomb Man. Okay, just use your Thunderbolt. Use your Thunder. And that's it. You can also use your Flamethrower if you want, but the range is kinda closer. It's still fine. Goal here is to reach level 725, but before that, we've already unlocked the Cloud Ride. Sorry, it's not Cloud Fly, it's Cloud Ride. <laughs> There you go. So you can start defeating the King of Sand. So guys, here you should use your Observation Hockey because you will really get hit. There you go. You never know, but what if I've already used all my Observation Hockey? Just reset. Our goal here is to reach level 850. And before we even reach that, we will be unlocking our final skill, the Fire Pillar. Guys, this is the strongest damage skill. There you go. Use your B skill and your Thunder or Thunderbolt and that's enough. So guys, when you reach level 850, you can now head again to Sky Island and start defeating the Ballman. Guys, this will be fast again because the spawn time of this mob is really, really fast. The goal here is to reach level 900. After reaching level 900, you can start defeating the Rumbleman with the Ballman. Again, with the Ballman. So after you defeat the Rumbleman, you can go back to the Ballman. And after that, you can now go back to the Rumbleman. Guys, you're gonna stay here until you reach level 1,100, okay? 1,100. But when you reach level 1,050, you're gonna stop defeating the Ballman, okay? You're just gonna focus on the Rumbleman. I hope that's clear. Again, 1,100. So when you reach that, we're now gonna go to Bubble Island. And we're gonna start defeating the leader. Guys, always turn on your Observation Hockey when defeating this one. There you go, to so dodge his skill, only one skill, there you go, you can burst him. So the goal here is to reach level 1150, and before we go to our next quest, we're gonna buy something, there you go. The Busu Haki for 500,000 belly, there it is. Now let's proceed to the pasta. Guys, you cannot dodge the attack of this mob, so better use your Observation Haki. Again, if you use all your Observation Haki, just reset. It's very easy to defeat. The goal here is to reach level 1325. And after that, you can now proceed to the lobby island. Guys, why 1325? Because you want to defeat Giraffe here fast and the wolf at the same time or simultaneously. After the Giraffe, go to Wolf. And after the Wolf, go to the Giraffe. The goal here is to reach level 1400 by defeating these two mobs. Okay? 
So when you reach level 1400, you can now go to Leo, the final mob that you're gonna farm before you reach second C. So there you go guys, he's easy to defeat. So when you reach level 1500, Imernum, can we go to the second C? No. We need to finish the last quest first. Oh, stat check, max, power fruit, and put it all on the defense. So guys, we need to head to the war island, the marine ford, and talk to the traveler. So he is located here. There you go. Talk to him. He will ask you to find the map. And now you need to go to the fish land, defeat any fishman in this island. But for me, it's the seasoned fishman. You're gonna defeat this until you get the map. Guys, I'm so lucky here. The first time that I defeat this, I was able to get the map. I've seen comments saying, Gamer Nom, you're using two times drop. Guys, why would I do that with this account? I think I will just be using this once or twice, right? Because I will be leveling up other accounts. So here you go. We have the map. Now let's go back to the traveler. Give him the map. Let's go. Stop dancing. <laughs> There you go, he will thank you, and now you can go to the starting island, talk to the elite pirate, and he will then send you to the second sea. So guys, that's it for this video. Do you want me to make a video of a spirit fruit max level? Comment it on the comment section, okay? If there are lots of comments regarding that, I will continue leveling up this account. And that's it for this video. Again guys, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!